Good morning and welcome to your Wednesday early morning intuitive guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nossbaum here with some words of wisdom to get you thinking and feeling and perhaps shifting your perspective a bit. So we'll give it a minute for everybody to hop on. I need a drink here. Dry. Mm. So how's everybody doing? I feel like I've been consumed by this program and uh, haven't had as much time to connect with everybody and see how things are going. Where are you at? How's Wednesday treating you? It's early. I know. It's early. <laughs> well, at least for those of you who watch when I do this. So uh, there's our first person. We'll see if a name rolls. It's Cindy. Good morning, dear. Welcome, welcome. Glad you're here. We'll give it a minute as everybody starts popping in. There's Nancy. Good morning. Good morning. <sighs> there, that was just a, a an unconscious breath that I caught about halfway on the inhale. So let's do some more, shall we? In through the nose, out through the mouth. <sighs> Breathing as deeply as you can. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Hello, Joe Neal. <sighs> Feeling shoulders drop. In through the nose, out through the mouth. <sighs> just. Uh, yeah, Crash McGee. Poor Joe Neal backed into her garage door. She kind of didn't wait for it to get out of her way. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Those bloody things. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. And sometimes we have to take those unexpected, unpleasant events and take a look at them. What's the message? What is the message? What can I... How can this serve me? What can I take away from this that'll be useful to me, right? So if you have any insights, Joni, I'll put them in the, in the feed. Oops, yeah, there's oops. <laughs> in through the nose, out through the mouth. Feels like some tapping would be good. Good morning, Beth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And our card for today is called Great Mystery great mystery. So that might be uh, relevant to the backing into the garage door thing. We'll see what comes up. In through the nose, out through the mouth. There. So today is my last day of the Tony Robbins. Good morning, Catherine. Welcome. The Tony Robbins Date with Destiny program and my last program in the, in the, the cycle um, the it's been two years of doing programming. Good morning, Angie. Welcome. Lots of information, lots of shifts, some big shifts, and a lot of what we've talked about as being those incremental shifts, the one degree change that over time makes a big difference. Good morning, Chris K. Glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. <sighs> How y'all doing? Everything okay? Today's card is one of those cards that's designed to help you navigate through when things aren't okay, when things are taking a toll on you. They, this card comes from the Pilgrim Cards deck by Austin Repath. And those of you who've been with me for years know that this card deck, um, the last we checked in with him, he was in his 80s, he lives in Canada, and he had gained much of the information that went into this card deck through um, walking, I'm trying to remember which trail he did, but it was one of the ones that it's the epic hikes kind of a deal, and he did it more than one. Yes, I saw that you got a new grandbaby, Alden. That's cute, Alden Henry Sager. Congratulations, Grandma, that is awesome. One of these lifetimes, I'll get to be a grandma. I'm not sure it's going to be this lifetime, but I'd, yeah, grandmahood. So I'll just rent myself some kid, grandkids somewhere along the line. That's one of the values of intentional community is you, you get to utilize other people's children. <laughs> congratulations, congratulations. That is awesome. That is a lovely milestone in life. And congratulations, or congr welcome to Abigail. Glad you're here. So pilgrim cards. So again, this one may have feel to people like it's a little bit dark, but 
we all hit these periods in life where something significant has happened or is happening, the loss of someone, our own health uh, issue, whatever it is, a loss of a job, a pandemic, a whatever, and it's an epic part of our adventure, a part of our adventure that we literally need to survive. So the card is putting a perspective on that that I think can be helpful when you're in the middle of something like that. So it's called Great Mystery. One more breath in. Out. <sighs> Listening for the part of this message that's speaking to you today. Sometimes on the road, the steepness of the hills and the treachery of the rock-strewn track wear you down. You grow thin and weak, lose whatever strength and invincibility you thought you had. Good morning, good morning. Glad you're all here. You feel like a wisp. I kind of feel that way right now. And I think that's a piece of transformation. Like if you watch the butterfly emerging from the chrysalis, they look pretty fragile, don't they? They don't look very sturdy, hardy, anything. But in the process of recovering from that, that transformation, they, they become what they're meant to be. Good morning, Carolyn. So... When we hit these periods in our lives, some of you have just gone through those. Carolyn with her cancer journey. Um, many of us have gone through those. Keep in mind, this is what's happening. It's a transformation. We, we walk awfully close to the edge of death, but it's a transformation that we couldn't get to who we then become without something dire like this occurring. And it's in navigating that that we transform, okay? You feel like a wisp, a shadow slipping through the world. You no longer trust the counsel of your mind or the compass of your instincts. You sense that the rough toil of the pilgrimage is burning off all that was keeping you going. Your hopes and dreams, purpose and goals. How many times in life have you gotten to that point where you go, what the hell is going on? What the hell am I doing? I don't I have no clue where I'm going from here. No clue. All that used to work is no longer working. I don't see anything new that I'm supposed to be doing. Here I stand. Again, kind of that crossroads sort of a feel, but with that, that dire kind of feel to it. You hold to the simplest of tasks, walking away. So when you're, and I'm sure those of you who've had cancer can attest to this, when you're in the path, the part of the path where you're walking intimately with that, nothing else is the focus. Good morning, Donneen. Glad you're here. Nothing else is the focus. You've got to be focused on this rocky part of the path. Where are you putting your foot next? One step at a time. And that's how that part of the journey goes. It's not, okay, 12 miles down the road, I'm going to encounter this. It's what is under my next footfall. Good morning, Gwen. Glad you're here. Welcome. So you hold to the simplest of tasks, walking the way. All you know for sure is that the game is in another's hands, that you are as close to disembodied spirit as you have ever been. If ever the curious mind was called to witness the great mystery at work, this is it. If in this near-death experience there was a moment for trust, you have reached it. Wow, that's quite the card, isn't it? Quite the card. We're called. We're called. And sometimes this journey that we're on requires that we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, correct? That we get squeezed so that all that isn't us falls away. The, that armor that Brene Brown talks about falls away. And there you are, standing there, naked, bloody, sweaty. And are there people in the cheap seats yelling advice or ridiculing or whatever? Yeah. Really, we need to not listen to that. They're not walking our walk. 
They're not walking our walk. We're the one with this path. Those of you who've done the cancer journey, you've probably had a zillion people tell you, here's what you ought to do. This is your intimate journey. Whatever a health issue is, whatever is going on in your life, someone else's death, um, some other dire kind of circumstances, there's all kinds of advice that comes flying at you, right? But this is your journey. This is your journey. Yes, if in this near-death experience there was a moment for trust, you have reached it. You have reached it. We've talked about this before, and we're talking, we've are talking. we talked about this on Date with Destiny. There's no need for faith and trust if you never challenge yourself. There's no need for faith and trust if you don't allow this journey to take you where you're supposed to be going. There's no need for faith and trust if you're not stepping into the great flow of the river of your life and allowing it to take you where you go. And yes, the physical body has to catch up, right? So there's all this transformative stuff that's going on. And think about the, the butterfly. They still may have the mindset of, I have to creep along. I have to creep along. Exactly, exactly. And the people who are giving advice, bless them, bless them, right? They, they're wanting to be of assistance. They're not realizing that this epic part of your journey, the best thing they can do is hold space for you to walk your path. Hold space for you to walk your path. Encourage you. I know that you will find your answers within. I know that you will find your answers within. You get to decide. You get to decide. There we go. Yes, that's beautiful. Thank you, Carolyn. Oh, fabulous. So, good morning, Diane. Diane's been through hell and back with this kind of a thing where other people have felt like they know best how to walk this path of losing multiple people in your life in a very short span of time. You know the best. You know the best. So I'm going to read the card again. And again, I want you listening with that intuitive part of the, yourself that knows which part of this is speaking to you. Obviously for Cindy, a piece that spoke to her was that piece about this is the moment for trust. This is the moment for trust. When you can't see the path, good morning, Rebecca, but you know it's time for a step. Faith and trust and take a step. Yep. As, as Tony would say, make your move. Make your move, whatever your move is going to be. And for some, at that point in time, we, the previous card that we had out of this deck was Fork in the Road. And the gist of it wasn't, you have to make your mind up which side, which way you're gonna go. It was, you're standing there, you already know which way you're gonna go. You've picked it. You're wondering, do I have what it takes to go that way? Your answer is yes. If you're asking yourself the question, your answer is yes. Your answer is yes. So let's hear the card again. Breathe. This is a powerful card. And for many of us, there's 10 of you on here with me live right now. And there'll be many more that watch before the end of the day and over the course of days. But if you're here and you're hearing this, know that somewhere in the near future, there's likely to be this part of the path where it's difficulty. Absolutely, dear. Absolutely. It is an honor to walk the path with you. And an honor to walk the path with all of you as we hit these points in our lives. And think about this. Isn't this where, if you lock arms with others, you can be helped along? Not them telling you which way to go. That is yours to decide. But them cheering you on. You can do this. You can do this. Here we go. Great mystery. Sometimes on the road, the steepness of the hills and the treachery of the rock-strewn track wear you down. You grow thin and weak, lose whatever strength and invi invincibility you thought you had. You feel like a wisp, a shadow slipping through the world. That's the line that grabbed me. You no longer trust the counsel of your mind or the compass of your instincts. 
you sense that the rough toil of the pilgrimage is burning off all that was keeping you going. Your hopes and dreams, purpose and goals. You hold to the simplest of tasks, walking the way. All you know for sure is that the game is in another's hands, that you are as close to disembodied spirit as you have ever been. If ever the curious mind was called to witness the great mystery at work, this is it. If in this near-death experience there was a moment for trust, you have reached it. Rub your hands together. Hold them out. Sending energy. Sending energy to each other. Walk on the path. Sometimes crawling the path. Sometimes, as my friend Kathy says, and it's an army crawl. You're just on your elbows going. It's the best you can do at that point. But you're doing it. You're doing it. Sometimes the path is messy. Oftentimes the path is messy. And when it's messy, that can be where our greatest growth, our best transformations occur. So breathe in. Breathe out. And now bring this energy in. Bring this energy in. Yes, thank you. I love that line. You feel like a wisp, a shadow slipping through the world. But again, that's burning off all that no longer serves you, leaving you simply with essence, the essence of you. That's what's left. And then as you go, what you need shows up. <sighs> awesome. All right. Have an awesome day. Yes, yes. Sending energy to Gwen's cousin. Please send energy to my sister and her tribe of dogs. One of her dogs is not doing well. And male dog, and you can see the the male the the male energy. He's a warrior. He's a warrior. So he overdid. He went for an epic walk with his tribe and and now he's struggling. Part of his process. Part of his process. Just hold in space. Hold in space for those who, and this is kind of giving me a different perspective too in dealing with my dad. He's a warrior. He's a warrior. You got to let warriors do their thing in their way. So have an awesome Wednesday. We'll see you again tomorrow. Um, I'll be early in recovery <laughs> from this process, but I'll be here. Not exactly sure what time, but I will be here. So, and I have a meeting tonight on um the town makers group. So again, everything moves us forward. Everything gives us or gives us pause when we need a pause or maybe even knocks us back a couple of steps so that we can reroute and come forward in a better way. It's all good. It's all part of this great mystery, this epic journey that we're on. Embrace your journey. See you again tomorrow. Remember, you're capable of far more than you think you are. Bye-bye.